Hi, my name is Idan, and in this video, I will demonstrate a new security feature in IBM MobileFest Platform Foundation 7.1 called Certificate Pinning. Before demonstrating the feature, let's understand why do we need it and what does it mean to pin a certificate. As an example, let's take an application that requires transmitting sensitive customer data. The data is protected by securing the client-server communication using the SSL or TLS protocols. And the way it works is called handshake, where the identity and origin of the request is first verified before any sensitive data is transmitted. These protocols, though, can be vulnerable to attacks such as man in the middle, where a potential attacker forges himself as the server that the client attempts to connect to. And this leads us to certificate pinning, which is one possible way to prevent such an attack by accepting requests only from a specific and verified host. This is accomplished by comparing the public key of the certificate that resides in the application with the public key of the certificate that arrives from the server as part of the SSL handshake process. If the public keys match, the request will be allowed to pass through. If the public keys don't match, it will not be allowed to pass through. So, what do we need to make this work? From a server perspective, in our production server, which can be either Tomcat, WebSphere Full Profile, or WebSphere Liberty Profile, we need to provide a certificate authority signed certificate and add it to our application service Trustor. So, this process will not be covered in this video, but links are available in the blog post. From a client perspective, the same certificate that we've placed on the server side needs to be placed in the application as well. In a hybrid application that can be seen here, there is a new certificate folder next to the common folder. And here we need to place our .ser file. In a native iOS application, the same certificate can be placed anywhere in the project bundle. In a native Android application, the certificate must be placed in the Assets folder. So next is the API method used for pinning the certificate. It's called Double Client Pin Trusted Certificate Public Key, which accepts the name of the certificate. And this method, method basically configures the application to accept requests that originate only from our specific host that is uh, mentioned inside the certificate. If the method call was successful, this means that from now on, only verified request, requests will be allowed. The method returns a promise object, and here in this uh, sample application, we simply uh, notify the user if the pinning process was successful or not. Note that this method must be called before any other request is issued by the client application. So let's, let's have a quick demonstration and see how it works. First we'll try it without the pinning and see that uh, all requests that, um, that we send out will pass. So in this application I have two requests. The first is an adapter request that returns a simple JSON object and another request that simply goes to google.com. So let's, so I've now I've commented out the API method and let's run the application. Okay, so since we're not making any checks on either request, both should pass. And we can see that the certificate pinning status is not pinned. So the first request path passed, and the second request passed as well. So and now let's use the API and see what happens. We can see now that the pinning status is certificate pinned. First one passed, and the second one failed. 
So the first step was to the adapter test, and we got back our uh, JSON object, which I didn't print it, but it's there. And the second request to Google failed. Why did this happen? As mentioned earlier, during the handshake process, the following check is done. If the public key of Google's certificate, which is being sent alongside its certificate, does not match the public key of my host certificate, which also which I also have it in my application, so I know exactly what that public key is, if they do not match, then we will not allow this, the request to pass. And this is exactly what happened here. So this was certificate pinning. You can find more information in the blog post. Thanks for watching.